GC. Voya, thank you so much for your time. Welcome to News Today. Just kindly give us an update of what has transpired since the president delivered his report. Well, thanks very much, uh, Jumi. Well, the buzz at the moment um, is around the issue of how the ANC came to lose members. You're talking about 37% of the ANC's membership has been wiped out over the past two and a half years. In sheer numbers terms, we're talking about uh, just over 450,000 people who are no longer active. Now, that is cause for concern for an organization or a party that is and it's no doubt uh, going to occupy center stage in the session that is currently underway. That session is a session that is being led by the ANC's Secretary General, Gwede Mandashe. It talks to the state of the organization. So there, Gwede Mandashe will no doubt get into the detail of how the ruling party came to lose such a huge number of uh, members. Now, you need, of course, to make the distinction between the membership of the political party and the people who vote for the ANC but there is always a correlation over 10 million people voted for the ANC in the election uh, but the party in membership terms had uh, about 1.2 million people but uh, you can I think safely draw a conclusion that if the ANC gets to lose members uh, party members it then means that uh, there is a likelihood that it may just lose um, um, people in the in the in the coming election so it's going to be a cause for, for concern especially coming as this does on the back of a certain key areas like the Nelson Mandela Metro like the Chwane Metro which uh, as um, uh, some surveys uh, have uh, suggested uh, those uh, particular metros are really on the brink of uh, being lost uh, by the ANC so so that is going to occupy center stage, no doubt. But to come back to your question, um, the session that is currently underway now is that of uh, the, um, 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 the, the report of the Secretary General, which speaks to the state um, of the organization. He will, of course, have a briefing as soon as uh, that closed session is over. To me. Before we let you go, of course, we do understand that the NGC serves as a mid-year um, service delivery review for the ANC as an organization. And I can only assume that um, the loss, the 450,000 members uh, lost, of course, from the ANC probably were due to issues of service delivery, including that of voters' concerns. What is the ANC saying about this issue? Well, uh, from his political report, the president of the ANC, um, Jacob Zuma, alluded to a whole host um, of uh, things or ills or cancers, as he at a different time called them. And these are the negative tendencies that uh, he says have started creeping in and which are beginning to really uh, cause uh, uh, headaches, not only for the leadership, but for the members on the ground. There are people, he says, who are blocking other members' uh, access um, to the party or to leaders of the party or to institutions that matter that can not only strengthen the party but which will also strengthen uh, sort of the broader South African um, um, populace. He, he reckons there are people who are buying uh, votes. Uh, there are people who are in the pockets of others. In other words, members, members, as he put it. But you should also remember that it wasn't the first time that he or any other uh, leader of the ANC has actually alluded to these new and negative uh, tenses, uh, tendencies. He looked back, for instance, during his speech to uh, Polokwane, what happened after Polokwane, uh, the Polokwane conference, which saw him being elected uh, president of the ANC, but what also uh, happened subsequently in Mangaung, and that is where he got uh, re-elected. But what he fell short of saying uh, or, uh, was to actually make the connection. In other words, connect the dots and say um, this, there is a direct 
or causal relationship between the behavior we saw and uh, the uh, reduction in numbers uh, of uh, ANC uh, cadres. But they should be concerned, no doubt, as I said earlier, because remember also that these ANC cadres were members of the party are the ones who have to go out and mobilize general, uh, the general like voter to actually go and vote um, for the ANC. The question, though, is whether, uh, because if you look, for example, at some of the uh, uh, tendencies, the negative tendencies that he alluded to, he still there uh, fell short of saying what you saw last week or what you heard someone saying a month ago or so is what we are talking about. In other words, he allowed his speech, uh, which critical as it was, and uh, uh, being on the on the like having his finger on the nub of the issues um, he still allowed people to take away from his speech whatever they could take which then brings me to the next question in those behind the scenes during those behind the scenes conversations that they are having currently and the ones that they're going to have during the commissions will they be as frank and will they make the necessary connection and coming out of here will they really come with the kind of solutions that will make sure that one their party gets to I mean gets back on track and with that as they are a ruling party they are able to influence and aspire South Africa beyond where we are at the moment. Well, we am certain that's a question on everyone's list. But thank you so much for that update. That's our contributing editor, William Vogel, live in Midrand, where the ANC's 4,000 members, of course, are in Midrand for the three-day meeting. That is the ANC's NGC. We'll keep you updated on the, of course, latest on that news.